as someone who has polycystic ovary syndrome, I have a pet peeve with the PCOS as a diagnosis for everyone who has anything wrong uh, hormonally and is not, um, you know, ovulating. I, I really think that the term should be, you know, an ovulation or some kind of diagnosis, uh, you know, uh, whatever our medical community wants to come up with. Polycystic ovary syndrome, you see like people who don't even have multiple cysts sometimes. Um, you know, there's so many different versions of of PCOS. There's people who, uh, you know, have testosterone imbalance, that have glucose imbalance, that just have inflammation. So these are the reasons for their anovulation or basically why they're not ovulating. And it's really not about the polycystic ovaries, which is what we're focused on is these cysts in the ovaries. It's really about not ovulating and it's related to hormonal imbalances that are causing that uh, or inflammatory imbalances. So, I hope that at some point we're going to clean up this diagnosis and really um, focus on the problem at hand and what is that root cause for um, anovulation. And it's not necessarily polycystic ovaries. It's really about what hormones are out of balance. And that's what the analysis that we do um, in functional medicine uh, when concentrating on women's health.